for this lecture on DJ drops, my favorite part of the course. What you need to do for this is open a new multi-track session. And we haven't talked about this before, but it's super simple, so I didn't think that we needed to cover it. Here it is. File, new, multi-track session. Well, we have one over this, but... Go into DJ Drop. Select the DJ Drop template, and it's going to give you a whole bunch of really cool standard effects that you can use. Hit OK. Once you've done that, go into Waveform. There are three parts of a DJ Drop. If you don't know what a DJ Drop is, it's one of these things. So that's a DJ drop, and they consist of three parts. First of all, the Optimus Prime having a heart attack noise, which is this. That beginning sound. And the voice, this. That sounds mixed with a voice, but they often also have the music element. So, three elements, music, voice, and Optimus Prime noises, or whatever other noises you want to use. It's called radio imaging noises, or, or sound effects. SFX radio imaging. You can look it up, you can find it. Um, I'm not providing download links to this. Uh, you should take it upon yourself to find it. Um, it's not difficult. If you've ever downloaded a song before, you can download this. So... I'm going to teach you how to do it. Once you've opened your multi-track session, go into waveform and then record your DJ drop. When you record, it has to be distinct. So you can't say, hey there, my name is Russell and I really like to eat a fried chicken and fried chicken is really good. Because when you go to edit it, it's going to be one amorphous, it's going to be a pain to edit. You really want to separate them and speak loudly and clearly into the microphone um, for optimal peak range. I'm going to say around negative six decibel point is uh is definitely a sweet spot so so do that and i'm going to show you what that looks like hopefully you can hit that this is the final lecture even that is probably not separated enough we're going to do it this way this is the final lecture thanks for taking my udemy course so we have four distinct parts and We've been through this editing before. You're going to need to cut them when you drag them into multi-track. So you're going to drag them in. And if this is complex for you right now, you can always go back and restart it. All we've done is open a new multi-track session. I go over this a lot. DJ drop. And you're going to record in waveform. Make sure everything you record is distinct and not bunched together. And then you're going to take it and drag it into your first timeline. The DJ Drop template starts with a Vox Chorus. It sounds like this. This. As you see, it sounds more like what we had before when I showed you that example. I'm going to cut them up using this tool. You can do the same. I know I'm going a little bit fast for you, but I, I really want to condense this. As you can see, we have different elements. You can start dragging these around and putting them on different timelines, uh, on different tracks, because each track in this template is a different effect, and I'll show you what I mean. Is this is the final lecture. Thanks for taking my Udemy course. And as I said, there's a music element. You'll want to drag a song that uh, has some energy. So you want to find a part in that song. That's a good place. So that's playing in the background, but right around here is where we wanna we wanna cut it. We're gonna zoom in a little bit and really take a look at that music. We wanna start it right before the drop. So you want me talking and then you wanna start it right before the drop. So we're gonna go back a little bit. As you can see, it's right here. 
And then we're going to drag this, put it right at the end of my voice, and start. This is the final lecture. Thanks for taking my Udemy course. Now I have this in Vox Echo. You probably don't want to put it there. Drag it down so it's actually in your music spot. And in terms of the Optimus Prime noises, the imaging sounds, all you really have to do is just drag it in and just take that sound effect. You can put it at the beginning of your clips or not at the beginning. You can put it anywhere, really. Um, I'm just going to drag it in right here. I haven't even put it in any specific order or really really went down to the track to see, to see what I'm doing. Um, but try this. This is the final lecture. You, see, you hear the sound at the beginning? This. So you can use different sound effects, but I recommend... Um, Obviously starting simply and then building up later. Once you start playing around with this often, it'll come naturally. I can't give you a direct order to put them in because it really depends what you're going for. But you can start with sound effect, then have voice. Is the final lecture. And then you can go right into your music. So that is how you do a DJ drop. Thanks so much for taking the course, and I hope you use everything I taught you to create brilliant productions.